Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. Yeah. Ooh. New dog in town. I just scared him. Why would he be scared of you? Well, I can be a little loud sometimes. And you're not exactly the smallest dog in the park either. So? Being big doesn't make you scary. I used to think it did. You're kidding. I thought Clifford was really scary. Before I got to know him, I remember the first time I saw him. He and Emily had just moved here, and they'd only been on Burwell Island for a few weeks. <laughs> okay, Clifford, we're here. I have to help Mom in the store, so you're gonna have to play by yourself for a while. We can play at the park later this afternoon, okay? What's going on? What's happening? Why aren't we moving? There's a tree! Ooh, ooh. Now just calm down, everyone. What happened? This old tree was knocked down in the heavy wind we had last night. We're gonna need something really big to move that thing. A big crane, or a big truck, or a big dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it 
unleash that new dog, Clifford. Looks like he wants to help us. You think you can help us, big guy? Woof! That Clifford sure is helpful, isn't he? He sure is. <laughs> that dog was big, huge, humongous! There's a dog. Maybe he'll be my friend. I hope he likes to play tag. That dog doesn't like me. It really hurt my feelings when T-Bone ran away from me like that. <laughs> Way to go, T-Bone. I didn't mean to hurt his feelings. I just didn't want him near me. Why not? He was so big. But you didn't even know him. Tell what someone is like by the way they look. I know. That's why I'm glad I finally did get to know Clifford. Clifford? <gasps> oh, a pink one! Isn't it pretty? <laughs> I guess we better stop. That bag is full. Okay, one more. Whoa, whoa. There's some. No, 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 there's nothing here. This one is amazing! <gasps> oh! Ow! 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 Woof! 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 Ooh, that hurts. Silly old sand crab. <laughs> What's he doing? Okay, Clifford. Thanks. Hmm. Wow. He's really gentle. Fun too. <laughs> yeah. 
you silly dog. <laughs> Clifford? Whoa! <laughs> oh, Clifford, you made me feel so much better. Wow, Clifford is a really great dog. I hope it's not too late to be his friend. Well, hello there. You're Sheriff Lewis's dog, aren't you? Why don't you come on over and meet Clifford? He's new in town, and he could use a friend. Clifford sure loves making new friends. <laughs> You just can't tell what someone is like by the way they look. You have to get to know them. Then maybe it's time we got to know that guy. He's been listening to your whole story, T-Bone. Hello, Squirrel. My name's Clifford. Hey, he likes them. What's not to like? You never know who can be your friend until you take the time to know him. Day. One day, Speckle and his friends just couldn't think of anything to do. So they lay in the grass, doing nothing much at all. Then, Speckle noticed a cloud that looked just like an apple tree. Rabby thought it looked more like an elephant jumping rope. Then Luna saw a seal bouncing a beach ball on his nose. And Darnell saw a monkey riding a bicycle. All afternoon, the friends watched the sky. They saw a trumpet playing ostrich, a rhinoceros doing ballet. They even saw an ice cream cone with a mustache and a beard. Soon, they had laughed the whole day away. And when they said goodbye, they all agreed that they had one of the most fun days ever. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Get well. Sorry, but Emily can't play today. She's not feeling very well. <laughs> it's okay, Clifford. I just have a cold. You should let her rest now, Clifford. I'll let you know as soon as she's feeling better. Emily Elizabeth is sick. That's too bad. Yeah, I hate it when Sheriff Lewis gets sick. His nose gets red, and his eyes get watery, and he makes the most awful noise. <laughs> like that! Oh, I wish we could make her feel better. Well, when humans are sick, sometimes they give each other a get-well present, like flowers, or a balloon, or a card. Okay! Okay what? Okay, let's get her flowers, a balloon, and a card. <laughs> All of them? But where can we get flowers, Clifford? Mr. Bleakman has lots of them. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. 
Those flowers belong to Mr. Bleakman. We can't take them. Well, where can we find some that don't belong to someone? Hey, I know a place. Chef Lewis says no one owns this place, and that's why it has all these wild weed flowers. I think they're as pretty as Mr. Bleakman's flowers any old day. Yeah, let's get some. Whoa, Clifford! Stop wagging your tail! Oops. Well, they're pretty this way, too. Yeah, I'll go pick a nice big bus for Emily Elizabeth. Great! Now I wonder where we can find her a balloon. Balloons! Free balloons today! Get your free balloon! How about a nice bright green balloon today, huh? They're free. Thank you. Come back soon. Balloons! Get your free balloons here! Look at all those balloons! And Samuel's giving them away! Come on! <laughs> well, hello there, Cleo. <laughs> Would you like a balloon today? Uh-oh. Well, that's one way to get a balloon. I've got you. Oh, no, I don't. Clifford. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Clifford. She's up there. Can you get her down, Clifford? And here's your balloon, Cleo. <laughs> Only one, though. I wouldn't want you to get carried away again. <laughs> This whole piece of cardboard is going to make a great get well card. Especially after we get through decorating it. Yeah! Hey, there's no room left. Clifford's paw print took up the whole thing. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We'll just have to be creative. Right. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's go bring our get well gifts to Emily Elizabeth. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute, guys. 
guys. I just gotta scratch this itch. There, that feels better. Hey, where'd the card go? Oh no! Mr. Bleakman's yard! I'll go get it, Clifford. Cleo, no! What? What's wrong? Mr. Bleakman says we're never to step a paw into his yard unless he invites us. So what are we going to do? I'll try to reach it without stepping in his yard. I've got it! Oh no! Well, I almost had it. What are we going to do now? Are you sure Mr. Bleakman said we weren't supposed to step one paw into his yard, Clifford? That's what he said. Then I know just what we can do. Okay, Clifford, lower away. Now remember, T-Bone, don't let one paw touch the ground, okay? Okay. Okay, Clifford, now swing him over towards the card. Oof. <laughs> you try the other way, Clifford. something important, our friends count on us to follow through. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. Hey, where's the ball? Max said he would bring it today. If that's what Max said, then I'm sure that's what I'll do. Look, there's Mac now. Hey, Mac, did you bring the ball? Oh, I don't feel like playing ball. I'm going to the beach. Gee, Mac, we were all counting on you to bring the ball. Uh-huh. Then I guess I better go get it. Being responsible means others can trust you to do what you promise to do. It feels good to know that you can be counted on, and that's why Clifford's big 
big idea for today is be responsible. I just scared him. Why would he be scared of you? Well, I can be a little loud sometimes. And you're not exactly the smallest dog in the park either. So? Being big doesn't make you scary. I used to think it did. You're kidding. I thought Clifford was really scary. Before I got to know him, I remember the first time I saw him. He and Emily had just moved here. They'd only been on Burwell Island for a few weeks. <laughs> okay, Clifford, we're here. I have to help Mom in the store, so you're gonna have to play by yourself for a while. We can play at the park later this afternoon, okay? Whoa. What's going on? What's happening? Why aren't we moving? There's a tree. Now 
just calm down, everyone. What happened? This old tree was knocked down in the heavy wind we had last night. We're gonna need something really big to move that thing. A big crane, or a big truck, or a big dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. That new dog, Clifford. Looks like he wants to help us. You think you can help us, big guy? Woof! Helpful, isn't he? He sure is. <laughs> that dog was big, huge, humongous. Dog. Maybe he'll be my friend. I hope he likes to play tag. That dog doesn't like me. It really hurt my feelings when T-Bone ran away from me like that. <laughs> Way to go, T-Bone. I didn't mean to hurt his feelings. I just didn't want him near me. Why not? He was so big. But you didn't even know him. <laughs> 